Hi, this is Instructional Development at UC Santa Barbara. This video is an introduction to rubrics as a grading tool for complex assignments that have multiple requirements. For instructors, rubrics help make grading complex assignments more objective, equitable, and efficient. Rubrics also clarify and prioritize an assignment's requirements so students can focus their efforts appropriately. Let's walk through the process of creating a rubric together. Rubrics typically contain three essential components. One, a list of criteria. Two, descriptions of those criteria. And three, an evaluative scale. So let's talk about each in turn. We'll start with the criteria, a list of skills, tasks, or various aspects required for the assignment. We suggest listing the criteria directly from the assignment instructions and the course learning outcomes to ensure that your expectations are clear to students. Each criterion is evaluated individually and then combined to determine a final grade. Note, these criteria will differ from assignment to assignment. Next, write descriptions of each criteria to specify your definitions of proficiency. Start by describing what acceptable proficiency looks like. Then go on to describe higher and lower levels of proficiency if needed. You choose the amount of detail needed for equitable grading and feedback to students. Take care to make your descriptions clear so you and your students have a shared understanding of what's expected. Finally, make an evaluative scale to prioritize and assign relative weights to each criterion's level of proficiency. Most scales simply list one or two levels of proficiency per criteria and then the possible points. But some scales are highly structured with fine-grained breakdowns of proficiencies. These are often built over a few iterations of the course or fine-tuning of the assignment. Other evaluative scales allow for more holistic grading and flexibility, like using excellent, acceptable, and needs work, and then assigning a letter grade instead of points. Regardless of the format, Always leave space for comments. Now let's put all these together. Rubrics are typically organized into a matrix or checklist. Rubrics can also be integrated with automatic grading tools on your course site. We suggest that you distribute the rubric as part of the assignment instructions, which will serve as a guide for students as they embark on the assignment. Remember these points when designing rubrics to fit your assignment. For more details and examples, Contact us at Instructional Development. Thanks for watching.